What would you say if I told you that men who knit is the new yoga? That was the title of an article in the UK Telegraph that inspired me to write my thesis on men who knit. I count myself to be a very lucky grad student because I combined my own love of knitting with my interest in masculinity studies. And with my thesis, I wanted to show that social changes were causing definitions of masculinity to move from what we see in the media as more traditional forms, such as having lots of power, money, sexual prowess, athleticism, into something else, something a little different. And I couldn't put my finger on it at first, but then I had the chance to interview 15 amazing men who shared with me what masculinity means to them. Now, not all the men I spoke to were lifelong knitters. Some decided to learn because their girlfriends knit. Others had lost their jobs and needed something to do. Whatever the reason, all the men I spoke to said that knitting changed their life in one way or another. Dave, one of my respondents, told me about his experience of going to a men's only knitting retreat and being one of the only straight guys in a room of 40 men. Dave told me that that experience changed his perspective on homosexuality. He told me that when the conversation turned from knitting to which celebrity guy was the hottest, when Ryan Gosling's name was mentioned, Dave chimed in saying, oh yeah, I'd turn for him. <laughs> what Dave demonstrated was that he was not only comfortable with his own heterosexuality, but that he didn't feel that his performance of masculinity needed to be tied to the idea that he was straight. Now, he celebrates with his new friends every time a state changes their laws on gay marriage, and he even told me that he was able to be accepting and open when his own daughter told him that she might be transgender. James, another man I interviewed, told me about a time that when his daughter got married, he wanted to be part of the celebration in a different way than dads tend to be. And so he picked up his yarn and his needles, and knit her, sorry, he knit her a blue shawl that she could wear on her wedding day as her something blue. Like I said before, I consider myself the luckiest grad student. I got to combine my two loves, knitting and masculinity. In the process, I had the privilege to witness some amazing stories from what I consider to be tremendous men who showed me that masculinity doesn't have to be what it looks like in the media. And that's why, in my opinion, knitting really does take balls. Thank you.